Hi, my name is Dan D'Agostino, and I'm the founder and chief designer of Dan D'Agostino Master Audio Systems. We manufacture and uh, design very high-end audio components that are not only beautiful, but musically correct. I came here to uh, visit my uh, distributor, uh, Royco, in Korea, and... Uh, just on a goodwill tour and talking to them about what a good job they're doing in the market. Yeah, those products are, um, are really great bargains as far as high-end audio goes. They're powerful, they sound very musical, um, and they're, they're very good to look at. They're not too big, they're not too small, they're just right in the right size. And created them to have uh, uh, another product line to stretch our, uh, our uh, our footprint in the marketplace. Well, we have um, we've created uh, uh, a new uh, uh, insides for the progression preamp, and um, uh, we now have a streaming DAC in it, uh, which you can get uh, as an option. And uh, it's been uh, it's been tuned up and updated a little bit to match with the newer amplifiers. And then down the road, we will, uh, we will make a smaller integrated amplifier and um, eventually have an update for the current one. But right now, we're not, we're not expecting that to be too soon. Well, the only option module we have right now is a streaming deck. So you can put the deck in and you can stream Tidal and, and uh, GoBus and all the different uh, internet sites. The MXV uh, momentum was... Uh, was kind of uh, uh, trickle-down technology from the Relentless Amplifier. Uh, I, I was so pleased with the uh, epic version of the Mo uh, Relentless Amplifier that I wanted to get some of that sound into the momentum. So it took, uh, it took some, uh, some doing, but we're able to get a, uh, an amazing similarity between the momentum and the Relentless uh, Amplifier sonically. The, the one thing I did want to bring up about the momentum amplifiers is that, that if you even have the original momentum amplifier, the uh, M300, you can get it updated to MXV performance. So you keep your old case and we change it to an MXV amplifier. So you get to have the sonic technology that's in the MXV. The HD preamp um, was also a... Um, uh, derived from the Relentless preamp. We were working on the Relentless preamp and found that we had uh, created a really, really musical input stage. So we decided to add it to the Momentum preamp if we could, and we did, and it made a nice difference, and it, it's really perfect with the MXV amplifier. It was actually done during the release of the Relentless preamp. As I, did, as I made some changes to the Relentless uh, designs, I, I used the HD preamp as a listening device for those changes. So I would make special boards that, that, that had the technology I was using in the Relentless to listen to. So um, uh, because the, the whole preamp wasn't developed yet. So once I, I, I had something, I said, wow, I should make this a, uh, an update for the Momentum preamp. And that's why we made it the HD. And then after that, the Relentless preamp came out. Yeah, uh, uh, this year we, uh, we released uh, a new Momentum product, which is the Momentum Integrated Amplifier. It's a Momentum MXV. Uh, it's a combination of an HD preamp and an M the MXV amplifier with an, a really high-quality streaming DAC internal. And um, it uh, embraces a whole bunch of different ideas that we had. And it's a, it's a wonderful amplifier. It's 200 watts per channel. And it's, uh, it's really extraordinary sonically. As you can imagine, there's no interconnect wires. It's just the two technologies in one, in one ca uh, container. So it makes amazing sound. Well, the Relentless is uh, my quest to get more information out of the media. So if I'm playing a CD that I've played for 10 years, I wanna hear more and more as I advance 
the sonic abilities of my product. And the relentless is like seeing and peeling the layers of an onion. We just keep on peeling off more, more and go deeper and deeper into the sound. I want to hear what's in the background on my disc. I want to hear the noise floor. We make, a, make very, very quiet equipment. And because of that, you can hear information that, that you normally don't even hear in most, in most equipment. But the goal for the Relentless is to make something that's totally unlimited, that can play any speaker at any volume level that you desire, and not uh, uh, ever give the impression that it's, uh, that it's not musical. It stays musical, the sound stage stays big, and the depth and field is amazing. Absolutely, I, I wasn't satisfied with the designs I had to make something better than the HD. It was very, very difficult. So it took a while for, for me to develop the, the, the technology to make the Relentless preamp. But, uh, but it was worth the wait because it is thoroughly amazing. The Relentless preamp is, is a true dual zone preamp you can have two completely separate systems operating at the same time. It also has an optional internal DAC that we've designed. It's really quite extraordinary. Uh, the Relentless is a uh, amplifier that is totally unusual. It's never been made before. And the technology is really, really advanced. And uh, from from, and I'm not denigrating anybody else's product, but I'm talking about mine. My product is designed to have tremendous power and control over a loudspeaker. And um, uh, the resolution and uh, the ability for it to pick up micro dynamics and turn them into massive dynamics is really unparalleled in, the, in, the, in all of the other products that I've been I've, I've looked at everybody else's products, but nothing really des delivers the bandwidth and the current that a Relentless amplifier can deliver. At least that's in my opinion. Um, building the Relentless was like uh, the quest for the Holy Grail. It was really difficult. I mean, it really took me almost a year before I made every circuit in the Relentless work. And once we got them working, Putting it into a, a, a box was also another challenge. It's a, it's a very different, extraordinary amplifier. Well, it, it was a dream. And once I had the circuit working, I was really relieved that it actually worked, you know, because it did take quite a while to, to, to turn it on. There may be. Yeah, the, the Relentless is such an unusual technology that I can make it almost as big as I want. I mean, I could make a 4,000 watt Relentless, a 6,000 watt Relentless. It, it, it's almost unlimited. But the, but the one thing I will say about the Relentless, even at very low listening levels, it maintains its, its linearity and it's still beautifully smooth and detailed. Possible, those things are stuff we have talked about. And uh, I, th I think that, um, you know, we're, I'm continuously developing things. And I, I'm right now trying to, uh, to uh, get our message out that, that we are emotionally attached to the music we listen to. And the closer we get to a re reality, the more people will like it. Well, certainly the, the, all of my electronics are capable of driving any speaker there is. So, um, but, but we, we would like to see our products with high resolution speakers. And uh, I mean, speakers like Wilson in Magico and Rockport and all those, those types of speakers, Sonus Faber, you know, particularly the new ones, which are really excellent. Um, so those are the kind of things we like to uh, see our product hooked up to. Thank you for supporting me here. And I hope that I can continue to deliver product that, that you guys like. Good morning, hi.
day Thought we said goodbye last night I turned and tossed until it seemed you had gone But here you are with the dawn Wish I'd forget you But you're here to stay it seems I met you when my love went away. Now every day I stop by saying to you, Good morning, honey, what's new? But you 